Hey guys, Dirt Flicker here, uh, out at the shelter today. Uh, thought I would do a review of a um, a pretty well-known axe's other reviews um, out on YouTube and other social media outlets for this um, camp axe. It's the S-Wing. Yeah, S-Wing camp axe. I'll give you another look at it in a minute. It's a box store axe. Um, it's it's fairly inexpensive. I don't. Um, I'm not going to spend $150 on an axe. I'm just not going to do it. Um, it's practical. You can pick it up, I think, at Home Depot. Uh, you can order it online. The lowest price I was able to find for this was around $40. Uh, they run between, I'd say, $40 and $60 maybe. So I'm going to give it a give it a go, and we're going to see you know see what it can do. Um, I've used a couple different axes. Um, and this one is light. Uh, the handle is longer than a hatchet handle, uh, but shorter than a traditional axe. Um, it's got a nice narrow blade. It can be sharpened real easy with a conventional sharpener. I'll show you that. Um, so um, let's give this thing a go and uh, see what it can do. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, that's pretty much what it looks like. It, it does come with a sheath. It's made in the USA, which I like a lot. You can use the back of it as a hammer. And um, it, it's, um, it seems like a real practical, um, you know, camp axe, survival axe. It's light. I think it only weighs about 3.5 pounds-ish. So, yeah, uh, the blue color, eh, could be, could be a little better. But, um, you know, let's not cry over spilled milk. Well, I'm going to give this thing a good go, and uh, we'll see what it can do. Give you a quick look at the blade. I don't know, this might not be the best splitter, but it looks like an awfully good chopper. I could put an edge on it pretty quick. So um, give it a couple swings here. All right, so I was pretty impressed with the, the chopping capability of that small camp axe. Um, I mean, maybe others may disagree. Let's see how well it does at uh, splitting some, you know, simple pieces of camp wood and whatnot. I mean, this isn't a full-size axe, so you can't expect full-size performance. But uh, let's see what it does. Not bad. Go through a couple knots. Excellent. Well, now let's see how the hammer works on the back. We got this area here. So we're going to incorporate that into the review, see how well this pounds a stake. We're going to sharpen a stake and then pound it and see how, how it works. Let's do it. bad. Well, overall, I have to say, for 40 bucks, 
I'm extremely impressed. This thing is light. Uh, there's hardly any vibration in the handle as far as I'm concerned. I know that other people uh, that have posted reviews on this Camp Axe or Survival Axe have said, you know, the handle, I, don't, I didn't notice any of that. Um, it swings, it's balanced, it, it, it does everything you need an axe to do for 40 bucks. So, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. But uh, in my opinion, you can't beat it for the price. You just can't beat it. Um, it's made in America too, so you know you're you're buying from an American company versus uh, you know buying with Chinese stuff. So you know keep it keep it in the country, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a quick little video. Um, I enjoyed making it. This is a great axe. So hope you guys found some um, some usefulness out of the video. Have a great one and um, take care. care.